The iPhone 16 lineup is officially here. So we're getting the iPhone 16, the iPhone 16 Plus, the iPhone 16 Pro, and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And I wanna make a quick buyer's guide video to help you out in making your purchase. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Rather than doing a recap video and talking about everything that Apple launched, I wanted to focus in on the iPhone 16s and really talk about the features and help guide you into making the right purchase. The iPhone 16 lineup starts pre-orders this Friday, so there's a little bit of time for you to think about it, and it will officially launch on September 20th. So there is a little bit of time. Let's start with the iPhone 16. It comes in fresh, vibrant colors, teal, ultramarine, pink, white, and black. And honestly, they look amazing. It's the best colorful lineup we've gotten on the regular iPhones in a really long time. It also gets the action button that was found on the previous iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. There's a new fusion camera, which enhances photos and videos as well. The 16 also will be getting the A18 chip, which has Apple intelligence and will support all of the Apple intelligence features that we saw announced at WWDC. There's just a ton of features that I really won't focus in on this video, but you're getting Apple intelligence if you upgrade to the iPhone 16. You're getting a feature that is going to be available within a couple weeks after launch, so it's not a big deal. I think if you want Apple intelligence, these are the phones to get. There's also a new camera control button, which is super cool. Basically, if you tap on the button once, you'll get the camera. And again, you can take a photo, or if you double tap on it, it'll switch to different modes and zoom and depth and focus that you can do within this new camera button. It's pretty cool. The UI seems really sick as well. And I'm gonna be testing these phones, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for that but that could be something that you find useful. And there's going to be third-party apps that take advantage of this as well. And no, there is no ProMotion on the regular iPhone this year. It's still 60 Hertz. And as far as I can tell, it's a pretty good upgrade if you ask me, especially if you're coming from a very old version of iPhone. It starts at $799 with the Plus model being $899. And other features that this phone is going to get besides the A18 chip and updates to camera and colors is it's going to have a bigger battery and it's going to have Wi-Fi 7. And one thing with Apple Intelligence, it's not launching with the phone, it's coming a month later. But regardless, and the size is 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches for the Plus model. So there's not really a change in size. But let's transition over to the iPhone 16 Pro. And while it doesn't seem like a huge update, there are some pretty good updates to it that I like and uh, I want to tell you about them. These models will have a larger 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch display. So it's going to be a little bit bigger in hand and it's going to get slimmer bezels, which I'm a sucker for that. I love the fact that they're getting even slimmer. I think we're pretty close to a full screen iPhone. And it's going to also have a more durable ceramic shield. I believe that's on the iPhone 16 as well. It's also going to improve in heat dissipation and efficiency. If you remember, the iPhone 15 Pro had some heating issues. And so it's going to be able to sustain battery performance a lot better as well. They come in one new color. So you have black titanium, white titanium, and natural titanium, which has been here, but you also will be getting desert titanium, which is kind of like a gold looking color. And I think it looks really cool. I think if you're more into like colorful stuff, then the 16 is probably more for you, but the gold looks pretty nice. You also get the A18 Pro chip inside rather than the A18 and you will be getting Apple intelligence features as well. I'm going to assume there's gonna be some features that come later on with Apple intelligence that only the A18 Pro can do. There's also a new 48 megapixel ultra wide lens, and that is something that's really good because I've thought for a while now the ultra wide lens has been ignored by Apple. And that's something exciting because it's going to take a lot better pictures and some really creative angles. And I think it's just a really cool camera to use for people that are really into video like myself and doing stuff and really using iPhone for content creation. It's perfect. 
but for people that love videos, you get 4K at 120 FPS now, and you can film ultra slow motion videos, which I think a lot of people have been wanting for a while, and I'm really excited to test a feature like that out. The iPhone 16 Pro will also be getting a significant battery increase. That's something really good to look forward to. The pros have really suffered in terms of battery the last few models, and I would expect it to be significant and if something like battery is important to you, this might be the model for you. The iPhone 16 Pro will start at a surprising $999 and the Pro Max will start at $1199. Starting storage for the iPhone 16 is 128 gigabytes, going all the way up to 512 gigabytes. On the iPhone 16 Pro, starting storage is 128 gigabytes, going all the way up to one terabyte. And for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, it starts at 256 gigabytes. Like I said, pre-orders start this Friday with it launching on September 20th. And I would say if you have the iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, I don't really see this as a beneficial upgrade for you. But honestly, I think if you have the 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max, this might be worth it just in terms of battery. I also think if you're coming from an iPhone 10R, an iPhone 11, even an iPhone 13 or 13 Pro, you really need to upgrade, you might want to consider one of these models. But which iPhone 16 should you get? If you want just a core iPhone experience, maybe you're switching from Android or you have a really old iPhone, but you're not really crazy into it, I would go with the iPhone 16. If you like vibrant colors, great battery life, a solid camera, and if you want maybe a little bit more battery, you could get the Plus model, but that's going to be your base iPhone that I think a lot of people will really enjoy. And it's shaping up, in my opinion, to be one of the best regular models that we've seen. $799 is a more cheaper option. It's not that cheap, to be honest, it's $800. Whereas with the Pro, you're getting $200 extra onto that. If you're looking for a more powerful device with Pro-level camera features, then you're gonna wanna go with the Pro or Pro Max. I didn't really see if there was any difference between the 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, probably besides battery and size, of course, but I would probably go this year with the Pro Max if you're wanting more battery as well. I've just avoided the Pro models the last few years because of battery. If you want Pro level camera features, a larger display that has 120 hertz refresh rate and is really good, looks really clean and just super high definition. You want top tier performance with the latest chip and if you're into gaming and stuff like that as well, and the 16 Pro or Pro Max is the way to go. Content creators, photographers, people that want the best from Apple, I would go with that model. So which one are you thinking about getting? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I plan on getting the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Pro Max just for review purposes. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. As always guys, thanks for watching. God bless and I will see you on the next video.